Hey everyone, Mystic Magic here, and welcome back to Neopets of Darkest Fairy. I don't know if you guys noticed, but the last few episodes I've been changing up my intro. Um, I just wanted to try something a little bit different. I might stick with this one for a while. Because um, I feel like what is going on, I feel like too many YouTubers use that. I didn't, if I just say hey, that's a bit easier. <laughs> it's more casual too, and I feel a bit more casual about it. These these um, videos aren't meant to be serious. They're just meant to be like chill, kind of, you know, casual speaking kind of video. Anyway, so last time we did a bunch of quests. We finally fin we got ran all the way across to the other side of the map just to give um, Tor's dad a package and then give the package to, which is a spyglass, to Douglas the Hunter. Got 2,000 Neo points out of it. Pretty good deal. So now we're going to go back to Market Town to go ahead and deliver, actually get the next quest. So this next quest, um, you're going to see how everything's all kind of connected. And actually before we do that, let's go ahead and turn in the Pink Posies quest before I forget. It's the one quest I always forget to do. I always tell myself, okay, do it. And then I forget. Let's run over here. Okay, where are you? Do I give it to her? There we go. Oh, she's so cute. Okay, and then she gave us a silver neck. Mm -hmm. I can probably make you a deal because he's eating all the food. That's funny. <laughs> yeah, he has like all the rare, like really high level food too. Like. Striped Nick, all that, all that good stuff, the goodies, you know. Let's grab some water moats. Ironically, you're gonna get more water moats than bubble, I think. Yeah, <laughs> four thousand some water moats versus like two thousand bubble. <coughs> okay, so let's run back into the guild. Let ask them what's up. Let's go talk to. So the last person is this lady, ah. Yoselda. This is a pickup and delivery, a mysterious one. I was told to send a messenger to the tip of Brightbell hmm. Coast. There you introduce yourself to a member uh -huh. of the guild. She give you a package. Hmm. Uh huh. Okay, so the others will tell you some things. Hmm. So last time it didn't go so well. Still in the hospital. It was bandits, but very special bandits. Hmm. Okay. So something suspicious going up here. So coincidentally, it happened to be the same area where the crypts for Prince Torin's uh, quest is. So we're gonna be able to do all of that together in one. So that's why it's a really good idea to keep them together like that. The other thing I need to grab is the other crossroads treasure, which I keep forgetting to grab. I keep telling myself, grab it. I told myself in the last episode, grab it, but I forgot. Ugh. Oh, well, we still have time. We're gonna have time to get it. Just grab me some golden grass, and then we're gonna run up to the, uh, the coast. Which I have to say is probably, I think it's the most underrated, but it's also my favorite area of the game. Other than... Act 4. Okay. Not gonna spoil what happens in Act 4 yet. But the my favorite areas are definitely Brightville Coast and in the area of Act 4. And I think most people would agree with me. Those areas are quite, quite beautiful. Okay. Now, last time I talked with Gord back in the uh, Meridol area. So let's see if he has any maps here. Because he had a map uh -huh. back there. Let's see. And he won't talk. Okay. Well, he won't talk. Also, his hair is clipping. That looks really strange. Oh, well then. Uh, we we'll just. I guess we'll just keep going. Okay, so, to get to the cliffs, you're gonna go this way. Over here. 
down towards Brightville Castle. Now, if you go to the castle, you can talk to people. They're gonna say different things. They're gonna, they're gonna be like, oh, Market Town is free. And you can finally go into uh, Meridol and all that. If you do wanna go through that hassle of running back and forth. So, Black Knight, let's keep right there. The music's also just really pretty here. Let's go on. So you're gonna, instead of going to the castle, you're gonna turn left. Then you're gonna end up in this area right here. Just adjusting a little bit. Now there's a cavern over this way. Yeah, let me check, is it the, this is not the prince. Killer friendly crypts, not yet. Okay, we're close, not quite there yet. So this is actually a different, is it the right one? No, yeah, it's a different crypt. So this one over there, it's a different set of crypts. So we'll probably go there later. That might be its own episode. Mm, and then there's another one right here. There's another cave here. And I think it's called like the spider cave. This one, that's going to be interesting. That might be its own episode too, because that one's kind of unique. I've never actually been able to complete it. So let's see if I can complete it because it's really buggy. To the point where I had to load up a previous save because I literally couldn't get out of it. It's like completely broken. Okay, so here we are at the Brightville Coast. Let's go check out the area, yeah? Look at this. Gorgeous. And the music really helps too. Across the bridge here. Look at that. It's just, I don't know, it's just stunning to me, this area. It's Crocobex, ignore them. An oil. So if you went to Cynthia's Noil quest, there's an oil right there. It's a pretty good place to get it. Now, I'm gonna end up in here. Uh -huh. Right from the lighthouse, and this is the Gellert family group. So we're gonna go and let's do Prince Torrance quest first, because we're here. And then we're gonna keep going to the other one. Just gonna cut these jippies. And then I'm also gonna go and use Tor for this too. Okay. One over here. I think these tombstones also have puns. It comes too fast and lasts too long. I told you I was ill. She loved nature too much. She still takes time to feed the worms. Aww. Oh, I get off my grass. <laughs> That's great. Thomas will forever be known for his last words. What's this lover do? Yeah. Carduck the clockmaker wound up here. <laughs> this is funny. Life is pleasant. Death is peaceful. It's the transition that's troublesome. Oh, I read that one already. Thomas one. Paralyzed Jester of Cura had left himself to death. I think there's one that's interesting in here somewhere. Born free text to death. So here it was. 50 raiders to the left of me. 70 dragoners to the right of me. What happened? I died, of course. <laughs> Reginald claimed he could hold his breath for 10 minutes. He held it ever since. Sometimes when the instructions say not to do something, they really mean it. Here lies Sir Mag Magnentius. A knight in life, a traitor in death. Okay, so this is interesting. So can I think this guy's kind of that name, Magnentius. Oops. Loretta was a claim acclaimed mentalist. She was struck down by a random thought. What are you looking at? <laughs> purple fungus ball and mud tea shouldn't have, should have known it was poison. The purple fungus ball. I think that has something to do with Curludor. Oh my god, that purple fungus. Here lies Minstrel Gunther von Hausenbug. Composer in life, decomposing in death. That's great. Here lies the world applet. What does that mean? Always make sure your fencing partner knows you're sparring. <laughs> oh no. Beneath the sod lies another. Oh! Dead sod. <laughs> death gives us sleep, eternal youth, and immortality. What was that when I was alive? I'm just resting my eyes. Death is not the end. 
There remains litigation over the estate. <laughs> this is pretty funny. These are pretty funny. They're just kind of lighthearted jokes. Okay, let's head on in. Okay. Actually, hang on. There's one little thing I want to say. There's a sign, actually. Oops. Rathbone Family Group. So, Torin's last name is actually Rathbone. Small little dungeon. Let's go on through. If you notice, it actually has the Brightvale family crest. Uh, Brightvale crest on it. Look at this dungeon. It's like gorgeous. Look at that. Okay, looks like there's something up here. Oops. Alright, so here's a tomb. Let's see if I can get a good angle of it. Kind of a weird looking kind of a figure right there. Crack down these areas. It's like a, it's like a bunch of tombs. I mean, um, coffins, sarcophagi. These are coffins. Wait, no. There's a difference in coffin and sarcophagi. I forget what it is. Or like. I forget what it is. Uh. That's good. Get this. Slorg. Let's grab some of the treasures. It's interesting how this is a Gellert crypt, but you see, like, the fighters are clearly skeeths, <laughs> and the archers are clearly like um, techos. Yeah, it's like pretty obvious. Not gonna question it. I guess like I, I don't know. Families are confusing in neobits. Species still makes sense. Okay, now this is a really nice one. This one actually has the like a bright veil crest to it, which is interesting. All right, come at come at me, bro. One shot. One shot at yourself. I'm kill the skeleton here. Bunch of barrels. It's interesting that this area has like a hidden tunnel. Almost. It's like some sort of hidden passageway. In this, uh, in these crypts. Hmm. This is interesting. Look at this guy. Uh, and the screen turned black. Okay. Oh boy. I think it meant to fade to black earlier, but it didn't. He looks a bit like Saradar, doesn't he? Gotta wonder if Saradar is maybe related. I doubt it's Saradar though, because Saradar's not dead. He's still alive. He's just kind of possessed right now. So that opens up everything. Grab some of these water moats. Some treasures that are around. Let's take a look at the statue. Yeah. Oh, yeah, it's different. The headpiece is different. But, like, it's pretty cool. Let's see this guy around. Pretty cool statue. All right, so now here this is where things get kind of cool. This is a very unique area. We're gonna look for proof that Prince Torin is a prince. So it's gonna be somewhere in one of these books. Or more like it's in that chest. <laughs> the cool thing though is that you can actually run through and read all of the books that are here. There are ghosts that will appear. Oh. Possess books. Fighting books. There we go. So there are like biting books around. Let's see if we can find any cool books around. Brightville Treasury. Okay, so interesting. So they have a book about treasury. And actually, you read it, second to last paragraph. Sir Magnentius was the only one who could have opened the door for the thieves. His body found later 
He said he, he in turn was betrayed by the criminals he had led. Right. So this is there was a his his tomb. I mean his uh, gravestone is actually outside. Pretty cool. Cool little detail. Interesting that this crypt happens to have the very book that talks about it. There's a couple more interesting books in here. There are more implications than anything, but so interesting. Yeah, so this um, book is about ghosts. Interesting. It's almost like they knew. And considering that they have fighting spell books, is it possible that his family did stuff with the undead? Necromancy? Okay, and this is also interesting. Nameless Assassin. Alright, so he has an interesting story too. And some people theorize that he might actually be related to Prince Torn because his the book is actually in this his family crypts. And because the crypts are so old, does that imply the assassin's actually a lot older than he looks? So this is interesting. Who knows? And considering that the statue outside is a wizard, could be they're messing with magic of some kind? Who knows? Prince Torrin doesn't seem to know a thing though. Okay, and the last dry bone. So this is about the skeletons. And it talks about like enchanters, you know, um, reanimating them. There might be something. Maybe Prince Torrin's family isn't exactly. They aren't exactly good guys. He seems to be a good guy though. Alright, let's open up. There we go. Look at that fancy looking book. That has to be it. Rathbone family lineage. There we go. That looks legit. Oops. I don't want to use my sun modes. I haven't used the sun mode yet. Smack it. Oh, and there's just the moat. But I think that's all the treasures, correct? Oops. Why? There we go. We did get all the treasures. Nice. Because the book counts as one. Now we can get out of here. Right through here. Again, like super nice looking area. I love this dungeon. Small, but compact and really fun. Let's head on off. What I wonder is, like, can you go to this crypt before taking on the quest? Even though there's no point. Okay. The last thing we're gonna do is run on over to do that delivery. Oh, and get the uh, treasure, too. Okay. Up. All the drippies down. Slice, slice, slice. Slice and dice. So the treasure should be up there. And then of course the next quest will be very close to that. Right. Hmm, I see some bandits. You grab the treasure. Oh, neo points. How much neo points? Thousands? Ooh, okay. Pretty good amount. And ooh, okay. Yeah. And it's suspicious. Interesting thing about the bandits is that there's different colors. Actually this area is um some of the promo art for this game is in this area. Yeah. Ooh, look at this, look at that. Lighthouse right over there. Is there a waterfall right here? Yep. Waterfall. Nice. Very pretty. Yeah, just cut all that down. I'm gonna heal Tor real quick. With the one peach bar. Alright. Lighthouse Keeper. And actually Lighthouse Keeper has quests, so let's talk to him. I 
think someone's lurking in the basement. Okay, so somebody's in the basement, so let's go ahead and check it out. So this, somebody's in the basement, so let's see if it's our guy. Basement's down here. Ooh, okay, so here we have a bandit. Let's talk to him. Red Jack. Mistress Griselda sent me. I'm gonna get this package to do with me. What's in it? I'm a spy for King Hagen. I've been working undercover for a year now. I've discovered that since Myrtle has been practically been paralyzed by those clouds, some bandits plan to take over Bright Vale. As I go to your plans, I have to get to the king. Like my cover's been blown, I've been set up by someone to get this book. I can get this book to Sir Kahedrin. He will get it to the king. He's on the coast, just past the guy right near the city walls. Get it to him and only him immediately. He'll protect the king. Nah. I wonder if it's that foreign prince. Okay, so he's suspecting Prince Doran. Right. I'm gonna take a fishing. Yeah, poor guy. He's just like, uh. That looks pretty cool. So he's like a spy. It's interesting he he thinks it's Torrid. Yeah. I'm gonna steal this guy's jippies. <laughs> Yoink. Yeah. Okay, I wonder if there's anything up here. Can I climb up this ladder? There you go. I like how Torrid immediately is like, nope. Can't be Prince Torrid. He's a good guy. Oh, there is a treasure here. Cool. No map, but there's a treasure. Four leaf clover! I have so many of these. Okay. Actually, can you. Can, can you go up there? Actually, can you? No. I don't think there's any way to go up there. Okay, so that's interesting. So there were bandits outside, and this guy was hiding from the bandits. One last thing, let's go ahead and check it out. The lighthouse, since we're here. I forget if this guy gives a quest. Let's talk to him. The lighthouse keeper, I mean. Okay, here's the lighthouse. The very top of it. Oops, uh, and the horse fell all the way down. Doesn't do much. So there's a plot against King Hagen. And actually the whole thing kind of shows you how if Meridal dies, like falls, then Bright Bales. It's not long after. Have you seen anyone else? I think someone passed graveyard near the city walls. It was one of those knights. Seems quite anxious about something. Hmm. Okay, let's go find this guy. So it might be the knight we're looking for, right? Yeah, so he's like near the castle walls. Okay. I don't know if the bandits respawn. Hopefully not. Okay, well, they did, so. And then they suddenly jump out. Right, so let's go ahead, let's go on through. I'm probably gonna talk to the guy again, Isaac again, just to make sure he doesn't have a quest. Because I could have sworn he has one, but you can't get it till after. I don't remember. I was mixing it up with like a different RPG. I play a lot of open world RPGs. Stealing more Crocobex. Alright, so he's over here. Jippies. Can never have enough jippies. And I think is that golden grass? No. That's not golden grass. And there he is. Sir Cahedrin. Cahedrin. Sir Knight, Lady Roberta, what are you doing wandering hmm. the coast? We're glad you're here. Mm. Someone's conspiring to take the kingdom from her uncle. We've got our plans. Mm. Oh. Wait. 
I hope to keep you two out of this until it's all <gasps> over. Wait, you're behind all this? Wait a second! It should be my ass. I won't let you get away with it. I don't have a choice. Oh boy. I have to fight these guys. These guys are easy. Like seriously, I don't think they're any stronger than the ones you played like way in the beginning of the game. Uh, and the hit detection was all the way over there. Alright. So the quest actually updates. It says, stop the traitor before he reaches King Hagen. I gotta run. I gotta run to Braidvale. Yeah, we gotta run. Come on. What a twist, right? It just like suddenly like, turns out he was actually the spy this whole time. That's why I like doing the traders the traders quest at the same time as the Prince Torn quest, because the two are like right there. Okay. This episode's gonna go on a little bit longer just because I do want to finish up this whole quest chain, and because the ending's really good. Next episode, we're probably gonna try the crypt area and then the uh, spider caves because they're also right here. Just setting some chippies. I kept pressing triangle. Yeah, look how the guards are just standing there. But then again, they, they didn't expect one of their own knights to betray them. You gotta hurry. Can you say anything? Oh, the clouds are disappearing. Looks like you've been busy. You guys are real heroes. Okay, cool. But like, they need to save the world. We need to save the king. Bright veil. We gotta hurry. I think the knights just say, yeah. Yeah, the clouds are disappearing, basically. They're not saying anything else. Actually, what is it? Okay, it just says to go here. I think we have to go inside. Which is interesting, the markers like on the bridge, but I, I get the idea. Let's go inside. Okay, so, and there's these guys everywhere. Oh, I hate these guys. Okay, these are actually the tougher ones. There's just so many. They're not tough, it's just so many of them. Also, I just drop my nail points. No, don't you dare! There we go. Ugh, oh, killed him. And I lost my nail points. So there we go, right there. Undercover, such grand drama. You have uncovered his perfidy and I uh, think, yeah. <laughs> Things. One of the kingdom's treasure. He gave me a silver neck. That's it? Still cool though. <laughs> hero raid to the heroes. I can't believe this. I would have gotten away with it too. <laughs> that you... Yeah, I like how he pulls a whole like um uh it's a Scooby Doo thing. I can't believe he was a traitor. That's uh, That's funny. And that's the end to this quest! You actually go into the castle and you have to save the king. It's really, really cool. Okay. Alright. 
So that episode went longer than usual, but I just wanted to finish that up. Uh, so I hope you guys are enjoying that so far. Um, I do recommend putting those two quests together just because they're in the same area a little bit faster. Um, and yeah, next episode I'm probably going to try to do the crypts area and then I'm going to go ahead and try to do the spider caves just because they're right there. Um, they're right next to each other so it's a little bit easier. Uh, hopefully I'll be able to do those but we'll have to see. Right. Again, hope you guys are enjoying it and I'll see you all in the next episode. Bye!